excuse my excitement, guys. Um, as Lee says, though, we are headed to George Washington Campground in Rhode Island. And this place takes the cake. So let's check in here. So keep in mind when you're coming here, it's not this spot. You can see it. The guy said that uh, everybody comes there. So, and there's the sign. There it is. Yep, here it is. This is the real check-in. It's the small building right when you come down the driveway of the Hello, camp. Hello, We made it. It's beautiful. Look at guys know Lee cannot live without her damn fires so uh, we spun around went west found a stop and shop and to our surprise this place is loaded we picked up three bundles seven dollars a piece we got a happy camper y'all starter can continue her duties. Always have to put the cart away. Don't be that person. This is it, folks. We made it. Yay, 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 yay. Oh, hey, guys. We are at George Washington State Park in Rhode Island. Check this out. We have water here we've got trails we've got woods and no fire ban so now that we got our firewood that was a process we're gonna start this party now we're gonna go check out the sites and start so let's go This is Bow Dish Lake, or Reservoir, and you're going to see a lot of this throughout the episode, just due to its beauty. All right, let's go explore this beautiful place. About you guys but when I hear Rhode Island I think of like oceans and that type of stuff so this kind of throws my my expectations I guess well, not expectation but what I thought we were coming to but this is right over the Connecticut border so these beautiful woods all these rhododendron trees in the, in the woods as we do our hike this one is going around the lake it's really really nice really really pretty This is my type of trail walking. All that Lee stuff. I'll have you out in the middle of the damn jungle. Every animal under the sun at you as she's. I like this. <laughs> oh, Lee, there's a freaking bear up in. Oh, come here, little bear. Let me feed you. <laughs> He's hungry, babe. This is, um. Like Dee said, the kind of the kind of hikes he likes, because he's little scaredy poopy pants. This hike feels refreshing, I swear. So the way this trail works is it starts as one and then it goes off into three different colors. And the blue is the shortest. Red is the shortest, right? Blue is the shortest, then red, then orange is the longest. So clearly we want to take the shortest one. Knowing us, we will end up taking the longest trail. <laughs> and yup, 
taking the longest trail we did and it's around eight miles or so and after hiking that much we built up an amazing appetite so I kicked up a quick meal of tacos doesn't that look good tell you that guy's living life out there living like today is his last living like today is his birthday you know you just you grew older a second ago you took a another second away from the life that you have here on this planet stop taking every day and minute for granted excuse my language but you're not promised tomorrow i hate that saying but it's so damn true you're not promised an hour from now 30 seconds from now you're not it make every second count Guys, this prank follows off of last week. I've got a hidden camera, and we're going to watch the episode live and see what her reaction is. Let's go. Here while she's outside messing around with her fires. Um, you guys know she's been busting my ass for the past two seasons with these damn pranks. It's my turn. Dee's about to get redemption, y'all. I'm about to get some redemption, or at least get a reaction. I know it's not as good as hers, but let's see how she freaking reacts. Let's see her on camera, and uh, hopefully this goes down good. So um, stick around. We've got 12 minutes. Be right back. And then I got the uh, the GoPro. It's tough to see. But I got the GoPro sitting in the hat there. Yeah, GoPro there. So I'll uh, finish setting this up. Uh, let me go before she comes in here. Let's see what her reaction is to her in lingerie in the thumbnail. Hey, I got you good girl, Scott. <laughs> what do I get to? I gotta think of another. Ah, you stupid. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Oh Look how happy is as she comes down how many times she's tortured me. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh, you forgot about this one? And I just ran the movie. Oh, your nonsense prank. This one was the best one. This one's my favorite. Whoa! Hey, come here! <laughs> Yep, here we go with the pranks. Childishly is back. But now it's my turn. Get what? Under this thumbnail, Shut up! <laughs> 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 you jerk! Oh my god! You're gonna choke on my face! No, she's not gonna be happy about this. But as you say, that's what pranks are all about, right, Lee? Oh, okay. Right, Lee. Okay. Until she sees this. Uh -huh. Right, Lee. Uh huh. Right. All right. All right. You wait. No, I won't feel bad. I am not. Look, look over there. Right, guys. That's a GoPro. <laughs> yes, y'all. Yes. Bye. Just wait. So, uh, Not too bad, y'all. Not Maybe too bad. You guys are too late. All right, guys. Stay tuned, because it's on. Oh, yeah, it's on. <laughs> Just a quick note. Next week, if D isn't in the video, don't ask me any questions. The, that's Betty right up there, if you can see her. And this little trail comes from Betty... And let's see here. It's our first time. We're gonna explore this together, our friends. Whoa, look at these shrooms. Whoa. Oh, there's a beach. All right, come on. Oh, crap, there it is. Whoa, this is amazing. Little creek. Whoa. Oh, man. Holy crap. Wow, guys, man, right behind our campsite. You see how fast we just got here. Wow, y'all. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, this is why it's a prime spot. Wow. Look at this, y'all. That's what I'm talking about, man. The sand is so soft. this I don't know what type of animal made this print but you could see the claws and you could see the difference or the size differential between my hand and it and there is no dogs allowed on the beach so what could that be Until the sun was setting. Yeah, this was our happy place. But it's time to hurry on back to our campsite as the sun is beginning to set. This is our way back to our site. Let's go. Into the damn abyss. Yep, you guys can't see anything? Neither can we. All right, before we show you the sights, you guys know the rules. We're not going to show you anything that anybody's living on. But let's start here. There are bathhouses. There is a dump station, horseshoe pits, etc. So we're on the Angel Loop Trail. This is actually where the um, campsites, walk-in tent sites are. I think there's between four and six of them. Let's check this out, guys. Walk-in tent site number six. This is a short walk-in. There ain't no walk at all. Well, coming off the street, but to get in here, somewhat of a walk, but look at this. And this one is on the lake side. And you can actually see the lake right through here. Let's check out number five. I don't think there's anybody on it. What have I seen? So you're gonna walk in here. Look at the leaves on the ground already. It's beginning to be that time of year, guys. So yeah, look at this. Really, really cool. I dig it. I dig it. Look how huge that pad is. It's tough to tell guys, but that thing is, that's like 10 by 12, something like that. Okay, here's number three coming up. Really cool. Up on the rocks. Nice, nice, nice. That's three so far. A few more around here, so it's not that bad to walk in here. And then they have a porta potty here, good to go. This park is located on 4,000 acres of the George Washington Management Area, and it's 100 acres um, within the camping area. This is a Reserve America site, and be careful when you look at the description, it's going to tell you there's no bathrooms. Um, it's going to be outhouses and pit toilets. But there are bathrooms and there are showers, which they say there aren't. But there isn't any hookups. But there is shared water scattered throughout. The Angel Loop Trail is going to be where there is only pit toilets and outhouses. Which is convenient. Pretty good size sites. I'd suggest 22 over... 23 and then I would suggest 21 over them all look at this beauty as Lee would say D did it again 
best site here, closest to the water. Um, yeah, nice site. We're going in the top section that nobody ever shows. There's not a single video of it, and especially the way we do our videos, where we get to show you guys sights and all. There's none of that on YouTube at all. So we figure <laughs> we'll do what we always do. <laughs> we'll show you what the sights and stuff look like up this way. So let's go. Site 46, I like this, Lee doesn't, but I do, and it's a pull through. In and out, and down the hill you go. And then 47 across the street, you would need your trucks there. It's unlevel, but still nice. Okay, Site 48, a little driveway so far that you gotta go up. Let's see. Seems like a lot of more pull-throughs. Okay, so it's, oh, okay. All right, I had bigger expectations, but <laughs> it will do. It's level. Nice, it's a pull-through. In and out with your space there. Cool. All right, they actually have cabins here. I had no clue. This guy seems to be a little bigger than this one here. Oh, whoa, guys. What a beautiful area. This is brand new. I mean, everything here is brand new. From the gravel on the ground, the slab that they put the cabin on. I don't believe this is even on the map. I'm gonna have to double check, but I do not recall seeing any of this. Brand new tables as ours. And, wow. Oh, Oh, it just smells brand new over here. Wow. All right, so there's two bunk beds. Basically four twins. And that's it. Nothing else. Primitive. Oh, man, really cool. This is an amazing sight. I should not even be here, but I have to film that. What an awesome walk-in tent sight, guys. Amazing. Sight 53. guys we're heading back to new york and um as always we want to thank you for watching and we hope this was an informative video and hope you learned something and made life a heck of a lot easier for you when you book here don't forget to tune in next week guys because we're heading to a gorgeous rustic campground called oakland valley campground in new york look at the beauty out of our back window this is a family-owned campground and it's the most rustic we've ever seen so please like and subscribe guys so we can help out the RVing and camping community and get a lot of people to see these campgrounds um, but we can only do that with your help just taking a second to hit that subscribe button but let me shut up so you can take a look at this oh. Well, as always, thanks for watching, guys. We highly appreciate it, and we'll see you next Wednesday at 7 p.m. But until then, we love you guys. Subscribe now.